오빤 강남스타일 Hi guys, welcome back to another Android tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to insert pictures into Android Studio, as well as we're going to animate them by spinning them. Alright, so first things first, let's insert some pictures. Find a picture from any folder, mine happen to be conveniently on the desktop, and we're going to copy them. I'm going to copy one, go to the drawable folder, right click on it, and paste. It's going to ask you if you want to copy the file into this directory. Say OK. And the reason we have to copy and paste is because we can't simply drag and drop. But it will allow you to copy multiple pictures at a time and paste them in here. So at least that's convenient. There we are. OK. So let's take our pictures and insert them onto the activity. So grab an image view place it on the screen and let's go ahead and name this one let's give it an ID we'll call it picture one let's go ahead and create a second one and we'll call this picture two awesome all right and lastly another thing we can do is we can click anywhere that doesn't have a, a widget and that'll select the background and we can go find a picture for the background too. So now that we've imported it into our drawable folder, we can find it. I have one called Android Background. Click OK. There we go. Now we have a nice background. OK. So if we go to our picture one, we can scroll down until we find source and we can populate a picture. Let's do the yellow spin thing because that's the best name for it. And then we'll go to picture two, the source, and let's insert transparent arrow. And the, the arrow's not transparent, the, the background is, just so we're clear on that. There we go, that's pretty good. All right. So not, let's go over to our Java code. There are a few things we have to import. So we're going to be working with a view. And we're working with a widget. And that's a image view. And we're working with animations. So animation and animator. And actually, it's not animator. Animation. Ah, OK. There we go. It's a view animation, then it's animation. Kind of threw me off there for a second. I'm sure they have a good reason for naming it like that. OK, Android view animation and then we're going to do rotation animation because we're going to be rotating the pictures so that's all we need to import not too much to remember there okay now we need to create some objects so we have image view we have picture one and picture two okay and we also have a rotate animation that we have to create an object for. Uh, yeah, rotation animation. I'm just going to call it RA. RA for short. Okay. Now we need to be able to reference our images. So picture one equals, and we'll parse it to an image view. Find view by ID, resource, ID, and picture one. I really like Android Studio. It's basically filling everything in for me. Image view, find view by ID, resource ID, and it's picture two. 
Perfect. All right, so now that we have two different pictures, and there's a specific reason why I did this, because we could just create an on-click method um, that would basically rotate a single picture. We could say, hey, take this picture and then rotate it. However, I want to take a picture and be able to click on it and have it rotate, and then be able to click any other picture. Maybe we have 10 pictures, and use the same, um, same function to make all of them uh, rotate. So to do that, we're going to have to create a new um, function. So public void, we'll call it rotate image. OK, and this is a view, but we need to create um, it's a capital V view. We'll just call it, I'll say this image. OK, for a parameter. So we need to rotate animation, and this object is going to be a new rotate animation. And now there's a bunch of parameters we have to put in here. First, it's going to be the degree we're starting at, so zero. Then the degree we want to end at, we'll say 360 degrees. The pivot type. And we want it to pivot in um, relation to itself. Um, we could have it, you know, rotate in um, relativity to maybe its parent or, you know, vice versa. But animation relative to self is what we're going to go with. And next, the float. It's a float number it's telling us here. And it has to pivot. So where do we want this to pivot? I want it to rotate in the very center. So for the x coordinate, where 1 is equal to all the way all the way on the right side of the picture, 0 is all the way to the left, I want to do half, 0.5, and then we have to say it's a float. And next we'll do the y coordinate, animation relative to self, and also half. Okay, so Next, we need to set the duration, how long it's going to take for it to rotate 360 degrees. Set duration. We say maybe half a second, so 500 milliseconds will be perfect. And we can do all sorts of other things with this animation. To kind of keep it simple, um, let's do maybe we'll repeat a few times. Set repeat, repeat count. Let's set it to hmm, maybe 100. It'll just keep going for a while there. And we can also set a, um, a repeat mode. So if we wanted to, we could make this go one way, and then it'll go in reverse. But it would keep on going in reverse 100, or let's say 99 times. So that's not exactly what I want to do here. Um, there's a few other options. There's a fill, uh, set fill before and set fill after. Basically, set fill after is if we had this set to 90 degrees, it would basically it would turn 90 degrees, and then after all the animation was over, the picture would be stuck like that. So basically, if you wanted it to rotate and then stay, that's how you'd do it. And then rotate before is going to be the same thing except for that's where it's going to start. The animation will start at 90 degrees. All right, so we're not going to do any of that kind of stuff because that's that's not really what I want to do. Okay, so last thing we need to do is say this image because that's what our, um, up here, that's what our parameter is. This image dot start animation and then uh, RA is our um, rotate animation. Okay, so not bad, not too much coding there. However, there is one more thing that we have to do. If you go to activity main.xml and go to the text, right underneath true here, we can say Android, and we can say on click equals rotate image pops up, and that's the function we want it to run. The same thing here, Android on click equals rotate image. That's exactly what we want to do. 
Okay, let's go ahead and run this application. Must contain only lowercase letters and digits. Oh, okay. <sighs> All right, so we have to rename a few of these, a few of these guys. Not sure if there's quite a way to do that from inside here. Let's see. Refactor, rename. Yellow spin, refactor. Refactor, rename. We'll just call this arrow for short because we're cool. And then Android background. I'm not sure if we have to actually do this one or not. We'll just call it BG. Cool. All right, so now it should let us do this. All right, when I ran the emulator, it kind of ran slowly. So here's my phone. All right, can I click on both of these? Make them both run at the same time with just that one rotate image method. Perfect. All right, have a good one, guys.